Welcome to the newly remodeled hydroponics room here at the Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue in San Angelo, Texas. We've been doing hydroponics now for about a year and a half and we've gotten pretty good at it. So sit back, relax, and let's learn about hydroponics together. My name is Mark Myers. Most people just call me the Burrow Man. I travel the country with my dogs rescuing donkeys from abuse, neglect, abandonment, or sometimes it's just wild burrows that the government doesn't want anymore. My staff helps me care for more than 3,000 donkeys all across the country. Donkey rescue is not what we do, it's who we are. Let's talk about our hydroponics room and the fodder that we grow. Fodder is anything that you feed to an animal as opposed to something that it might forage on its own. So this is a ryegrass fodder. That entire thing right there is edible from the roots all the way through the blades. And we, we chose ryegrass because it's the best for the donkeys of all the things you can put in the hydroponics room. This system was bought at Farm Tech and these trays originally were 12 feet long but they're a little tough for us to use, so we modified the system into six foot trays. It takes seven days to go from seed to fully grown fodder, and it's really, really a great system. We've had a lot of success with it. We added a central heating and air system, and that's gonna keep our temperature right at 70 degrees year round, regardless. We have a big circulating fan that just keeps the air moving. And this is a great addition. This is a chopper, and it was designed to turn tree limbs into animal bedding, but we use it to turn fodder into coleslaw. There's a scale underneath there so we know exactly what we're feeding. We upgraded to an industrial strength dehumidifier to keep our humidity at 50% all day long. And we started using a regular rain gutter system as opposed to the drainage pipes, it just makes it easier. We also insulated the walls and ceiling with spray foam insulation, it made a big, big difference. Our Seed hopper is now inside the room, so the seeds are controlled. And these are just the rules. You know, you got to have rules, and so we keep it up there so it kind of keeps us on us and remember what we're supposed to be doing. We have two water systems now because we doubled the size, the, the amount of our trays, and we're watering two minutes every two hours around the clock, and the lights stay on around the clock as well. Because our pH level is way too hot alkaline out here, we add battery acid to 50 gallons of water, and then that little blue thing on the wall, it's called a dosatron, and that injects it into our water system uh, to lower our pH. So here the guys come. Uh, they're gonna start the, the, the fodder day. Donnie, of course, is gonna grin at the camera because he, he can't not do that. There you go, Donnie, good man. And the guys are going to start off with a chopper and they are going to take what we're going to feed today and they're going to chop it up. Now this, uh, this fodder has been sitting out since yesterday afternoon to drain off the excess water. And this whole chopper idea was uh, Jack's idea. He's our VP of operations. We used to just break it by hand into big pieces and let the donkeys go at it. But a lot was getting wasted. So Jack had everybody in here every day for a couple hours picking this stuff apart. And it's much better for the donkeys that way. So we found this chopper, we hooked it up, and as you can see, it just does a great job. It takes those mats and just shreds it. Now we have a scale underneath there, and we know exactly how much we're feeding the donkeys because we have a couple of pins of donkeys, and we feed everything by weight, not by volume. And that's a pretty good shot of those spinning blades under there. Now the guys are going to go outside, and they're going to feed our first group of donkeys. Uh, we feed two different groups right now. One of them is the moms and babies. Uh, these are babies that are still nursing. And the other one is a very skinny group that came into us malnourished and needs a little extra help. So we do this every day, seven days a week. And the dogs keep an eye on us. It is a little labor intensive at this point, but like I say, it's well worth it. And when you see the donkeys go at it, you'll understand why. So they're going to come down here into our feed room, or our feed lot, I should say. And this, uh, being an old dairy, all, all our paddocks connect. Uh, so we can get them to open up a few gates and everybody can come into this area right here that needs to. And they're just going to shake that out and spread it as evenly as they can because we want everybody to have access to it. 
when you have a lot of donkeys in here, it's important. Now, here comes Sheriff Jack with the 12% uh, all stock pellet. And it looks like we're doing 50 pounds per row. And that's going, better watch out, Butch. And that's going right on top of that. And then let's rock and roll. We let them in. And as you can tell, they've done this before and they're pretty anxious to get in there. The only thing setting them off their game is me sitting in the middle of their pen holding the camera. But they're going to figure it out and everybody's going to belly up to the bar here and get them a spot. And there are some good looking donkeys in this group. They've really filled out nicely. So a lot of these mothers come to us really in poor condition. And so it's nice to see him filling out like this. That little fella's trying to get out the way. And look at him. He's awful cute. You got to keep it clean. Because of the mold issue, we, we, we've, just, we've learned so much. And so what we do is before we see the trays, we, we spray them with sim simple green. We scrub them real good with a brush. Then we rinse it all out so that we have as clean a surface to start each day with as possible. Very important that we keep it clean. Okay, here the, they're going to take the seed sacks out of the, the soak buckets. And these so seeds have been soaking for 24 hours. They uh, put those in yesterday. And they started out at 7 pounds of seed per sack. Now they, they weigh a bit more because of the extra moisture. And these trays used to be 12 feet long, so it was one bag to one 12-foot tray. But now that we've cut them in half, it's one bag has to do two six foot trays and we even that out but it makes it a lot easier to pick these trays up and move them around than it did the 12 footers now because we use the ryegrass and most people use the barley it took us a while to figure out exactly how much seed we needed to oh michelle's gonna have to steal a little bit from whitney it took us a while to figure out exactly how thick the seeds needed to be in order to develop a really strong root bed the whole idea is to get the best quality in this fodder that we can. And so everything is trial and error. Uh, a lot of this stuff that works for us might not work for you if you're using a different kind of seed. So Michelle's going to take out uh, the empty trays and we load up the newly seeded trays. We put the water tubes back in and before they're all said and done, they'll make sure that the water's adjusted properly so that we're not draining too much. This is our note taking, which is very important daily. Not only do we record the harvest, but we talk about if there was any weather changes or power changes or anything and all that a week later might show up in the, the harvest. So seven pounds of seed, uh, that's, uh, that's the ryegrass seed there. And we're gonna load those buckets. Then Michelle is going to get some bleach and we use a few ounces of bleach per bucket. And that again, that's, that's for that old pesky mold. That's just gonna keep that mold out and it's going to start the process off right. We do this every day the same way every day. And that's, that's also important that you stick, to, you stick to your schedules and your regiments to keep it right. Because you'll, you'll be surprised how changing one little thing a week later will show up in your harvest. So Michelle will fill that up to the top of the seeds plus a couple of inches. So they have plenty of extra moisture to soak up. And they're just going to sit there overnight doing their thing and uh, here's Donnie. Donnie is going to prepare tomorrow's feed. Now we found that if we take it straight from the rack and feed it to the donkeys, it's too wet. The donkeys just weren't, they weren't liking it. So now we've, we shut the water off, we pull the trays and we put them on a rack for drying overnight. And it's, it's made a huge difference. Number one, we're not feeding as much water weight and we're feeding actual feed weight, but also the donkeys just enjoy it a lot more. So we do this regularly, load up that rack and uh, let it rip. That was a seed filter that he just tossed off there, and that just keeps the seeds from washing down the into the gutter. And there's some good looking fodder I'll be fed out tomorrow, and it's gonna drain, and we'll be ready to go. Well, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember that the Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue is supported entirely through private donations. Please go to our website, donkeyrescue.org, and make a donation. While you're there, get you a coffee cup or a t-shirt from the gift shop. Y'all be good, and we'll see you next time. Y'all get back to work.